Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this is another tutorial for film and animation. And what we have here is me preparing an image for animating and I'm dividing up the image into layers and what you keep in mind for the layers is what is closest to the camera and what is furthest away. So the hair in the front I put into two layers and I'm creating getting a face layer ready here. I'm going to create you can see the tip of the nose I've taken out because I want that to be closer to the camera so that it will for 3D space and putting the eyes there's the tip of the nose and then in 3D space I'm going to have it closer and I've created the head layer which will go behind the face layer so that the face will move back and forth in front of the head layer and then eclipsing the ears depending on where it is in 3D space. Okay, I brought the Photoshop file into After Effects and created a composition with the same dimensions as the Photoshop file. And then in that composition, I brought in the video file and turned off all the layers except for the face layer and switched it bl its blend mode to screen so that I could see the video file under it and lined those two up rough estimate they don't have to be completely lined up and once the motion capture video is somewhat lined up to the face I want to connect to the motion capture I can go ahead and start tracking all the points of the facial expression for the motion capture. Here I'm creating the null objects and motion tracking for the motion capture and I have an in-depth video on how to do this at my video blog animationhowto.blogspot.com and also there's a link to that at solomation.com getting every all of the points tracked Okay, two very important parts of this whole process. One, you want to go ahead and move the null objects to fit the face you want to control with motion capture. You you want you don't need the null objects to fit the face you have gotten the motion from. You can go ahead and move them from their spot click on the position in that null so that all the keyframes are selected and then move it to fit the face and then you want to move you want to make sure that it lines up with the puppet pin that you are going to be link linking to each null object okay one thing I discovered is having invisible areas inside an image layer like the mouth and eyes will not allow the puppet tool to close those areas if I want the mouth and the eyes to close I need to have the edges of the areas I want to close on separate layers so I'm dividing the face into three layers top, middle, and lower, and in that way I'll be able to use the puppet tool to close the mouth and eyes. And also in the Photoshop document I made it I only have one eye there and then in After Effects I'm just going to duplicate that layer and use it twice for each eye. 
So I'm going to go ahead and working with the lower part of the face here, I put the puppet pins in that correspond to the marks I put on my face for the motion capture. And I want to make sure that the puppet mesh is has a high enough resolution that there is enough mesh for a good deformation there. And for each puppet pin, I go ahead and rename it to correspond with the controlling null. And in that way, it'll be easier to match them up. Okay, so I have all the puppet pins on the three layers of the face, and I've named them and the names correspond with all the null objects that have been motion tracked. And then I can go ahead and alt click on each puppet pin position and pick whip it to all the corresponding null positions. And that will basically conform the face images to the moving null objects. And also, please take the time to check out my animation work at solomation.com. I would much appreciate it. And you can encourage me to make more of these by hitting the like button, that kind of thing. And I'm just finishing connecting all the null objects to the puppet tools here. And you can now you can see that basically the face is motion tracked. And this is the first step. I in the next tutorial I'll cover how to add the other parts of the head. So I hope your animation goes well and have a good day.